So you're new to Google Cloud Platform. Maybe you would like to simply check out GCP's breadth, deploy some application of yours, or learn about Google Cloud's big data and machine learning capabilities. In any case, welcome. Let me show you around. So first things first, cloud.google.com is your starting point. This is where you will find all the product information and documentation, but also detailed solutions with architectures and code with many different use cases. Pricing is also detailed there, including Google's pricing principles and a detailed cost calculator for every GCP product and service. Cloud.google.com is also the place to access support to read customer stories, to find partners, and to understand how Google Cloud Platform is different from other public clouds. The Google Cloud Console is where you will likely spend a fair amount of time exploring and using the platform. This is where you configure billing accounts, create and manage projects, and manage all your GCP resources regardless of their data center location. Every product and every service has its own section in the console left-hand menu with dashboards, detailed configurations, and settings. You will also find interactive quick start experiences from right inside the console. Take this example quick start for Compute Engine. Simply walk through the various steps of the tutorial, and within minutes, you'll be running a Node.js application with its backend on Compute Engine virtual machines. The Cloud Console also offers a marketplace with ready-to-go software stacks to accelerate development, so you spend less time installing and more time developing. This allows you to deploy production-grade solutions in a few clicks with a single bill for all your GCP and third-party costs, and it also offers direct access to partner support. To make sure you set up your employees up with the right permissions to use different GCP resources, Cloud Console also integrates Identity and Access Management, or Cloud IAM, and provides a unified view into security policy across your entire organization. This is also where you would manage quotas across the platform. Every product comes with one or more usage limits across the platform, so you can prevent one team from spending the entire org's budget on a rogue query or compute job. If you'd like, you may even use our iOS and Android mobile apps to monitor and manage your GCP applications on the go. Finally, one can sign up for affordable support for both development and production phases right from the console. This role-based support enables configuration on a per-user basis, and case management is integrated into Cloud Console. While the console is powerful and flexible, you can do everything from the command line. For every action in the console, there is a G Cloud equivalent. G Cloud is our scriptable and almighty CLI, and it comes with the Google Cloud SDK. Cloud Shell is a shell environment hosted on Google Cloud Platform for managing your projects and resources. It is accessible from a simple web browser and is powered by a small virtual machine with persistent disk and up-to-date software for all your development needs. It even comes with a web code editor. If you'd like to know more about developer tools, check out the video linked in the description below. Before you can use GCP Cloud Console, you will need a Google account. You can create a new Google account or use an existing one, such as your Gmail account. We recommend that you enable billing for your project and that you sign up for a free trial. If you do not enable billing, you will not be able to use GCP products beyond their free tier. If you do not sign up for the free trial, or if you're not eligible, you can still benefit from that GCP generous, always free tier. You will find more details about the free tier and free trial in an upcoming video. Once logged into the GCP console, I would recommend that you check out the main menu, and in particular, the Getting Started section. Start with a short, Tour the Platform tutorial. In a few minutes, you will get a good sense of how to get the best out of Cloud Console. Next, scroll to Interactive Tutorials and take a short hands-on lab for the topic of your choice without leaving the console. Finally, 
check out the main categories of product GCP has to offer. Compute, storage, networking, stack driver for everything DevOps, tools, big data, and artificial intelligence. As you progress through your discovery of GCP, keep in mind those key resources. Documentation, in-depth tutorials, support, training, and free code labs. GCP can be overwhelming at first, but with the small guidance, we hope that you are now confident that your best ideas can come to life in the cloud. We're certainly excited to see what you build and look forward to your feedback. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and look forward to more GCP Essentials videos. Thank you.